So let's there. look ahead, right? Let's look ahead to next let's. year. Okay, as 2023 winds down, just two weeks left in the year, it's time to start thinking about where we're going to go in 2024. And that includes planning how and where to spend your PTO, right? Your paid time off. Uh, with us this morning, travel journalist extraordinaire Jennifer Broom with some of her favorites to add to your list. Broom, where the heck are you this morning? You're in Tucson, all right? I am. Oh my gosh. What makes only, it your top not, pick for a desert okay. destination? Oh, I just love it here. By the by the way, guys, I'm not only in Tucson, I am on the rooftop like Santa Claus, um, hanging out on the rooftop of the <laughs> iconic, legendary uh, Hotel Congress. Uh, they have three concert halls in the hotel. It's really a cool Jeez. spot. Uh, I know, super cool. But Tucson, you may not know this, is the epicenter of astro tourism. Dark Skies International is oh, headquartered yeah. here. Um, I got to go up to Mount Lemmon Sky Center. It was super cool. Looked through a 32 inch telescope on a sky party. I got to see Saturn along with some other planets and galaxies far, far away. Um, it's a unique place here because Saguaro National Park is in the city. So you get this fantastic landscape of those just, you know, the symbol of the American West. The saguaro cacti are absolutely gorgeous. It was just named named the ninth dark sky urban place in the world. And not nice. only do you have all this wow, astro tourism going, yeah, you have astro tourism going on. You have so much hiking and fun stuff to do. Yesterday, I went into Biosphere 2. If you remember back to the early 90s, eight people lived in there um, as an experiment that was called the mission. It is a living laboratory. You can go through, um, go into like the ocean, they have the rainforest, they are replicating the weather. It was in one area that just surprised me. It was like, whoa, they've got wind going on in here. So it's a living laboratory. They're studying Jeez. things like climate change. Oh it's super cool. So and guys, let's talk about the food too. I mean, it's a city of gastronomy. It's designated by that as UNESCO. It's one of two in the U.S. Nice. And you mentioned Mount Lemmon. I know they've got like a little ski resort up there in the wintertime, too, that you could check out. But if we focus on where to go for the snow, snow. lovers, where should we go enjoy an adventure? You, you would think I would take you to a ski resort, but I'm not. I'm taking you to Yellowstone National Park in Cody, Wyoming. You can go stay at the historic Irma Hotel. It was Buffalo Bill's original hotel. Or stay at the Chamberlain Inn, where Hemingway stayed. And then you want to snowmobile into Yellowstone. Honestly, I'll tell you, I've spent a lot of time in Yellowstone, and my favorite season there is winter because it's truly the season of snow, solitude, and steam. We went for miles going from the Cody side. Didn't see anyone, saw more. Uh, yeah, saw more bison than people on the journey. And it's one of those times that you can truly get old faithful with less than 10 people. And then you can come is back that, into hey, Cody. Is that you on that ice wall? Uh, yes, I went ice climbing. You, I was nice. about to say, it's one <laughs> of the top ice climbing destinations in the country. That's cool. That looks like an awesome wall to, to, uh, to get up to. Hey, listen, kind of broadening this a little bit. Um, what about the eclipse, the total solar eclipse on April 8th? What is your top pick for a spot for eclipse watching? Where I'm going, San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> it's a city I love, love dearly. So I love it so much. I'm actually co-authoring a book about it. Um, it is a great city. Uh, it's home to the Riverwalk. It's also home to the Alamo. You may not know, though, that the Alamo is one of five missions, the San Antonio Missions Histor National Historical Park. Um, they're all very different. They're beautiful. You can also go soak at Camp Hotwells. They are reviving a wellness retreat uh, that was there in the 1880s through the early 1900s. So much outdoor stuff. Bill Hardberger Park is one of my favorite spots there as well. And I told you two cities were named UNESCO City of Gastronomy. It's Tucson and San Antonio. Oh, I love the history. Wow, you Antonio, just happened to hit them both. Okay, yes. we only have 20 seconds. Do you want to real quick talk about a less traveled state for outdoor adventures? Real quick, 20 seconds. Nebraska, and you got to go first. Okay. Oh, kayak and Valentine. Oh. Got to take you to no. Valentine, the Niobrara uh, National Scenic River, guys. It was just named a, a Quiet Place Trail. It's the only one in North America, second one in the world. And then you could also go in the springtime, see those sandhill cranes. They are spe spectacular with over a million of them making their way through Nebraska. It is absolutely gorgeous. And don't forget Scotts Bluff National Monument. Jimmy Rock, lots of stuff to love do it. in Nebraska. Jennifer Brown doing it. it to it, showing us how beautiful our country rivers, is. Right? I mean, seriously, That's look at all those places. There. And that was just three.